What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at the new music app within iOS 8.4. So this is a complete redesign of a major app. I think it's worth exploring here. So of course, this is a beta and things will change before you finally see it. But you can see the layout now consists of these three pages. So we have My Music, Playlists, and Radio. And as you can see, you can also swipe between them. We have Universal Search, which is always at the top right corner. So this allows you to search either your music or radio. Now, when you do search for something such as, let's go ahead and search for Dead Mouse, you can see it gives you instant live results. So you can sort it by artists, album, songs, playlists, or anything else like that. You can also search by radio here. So if you want to search for a Dead Mouse channel, you can set that up like so. Now you can see toward the top under My Music, they've prioritized recently added content. So if you've added new playlists or albums, they'll appear here at the top. Now in this recently added section, you're limited to three items here. So if you want to see more, just go up to more. We also have a new way of sorting through our music library. So we can sort by albums, songs or artists, music videos, genres, composers, and compilations. Now, if you're scrubbing through your list, popping out on the right edge here will be the alphabet. So you can uh, just tap on any one of these letters here to jump right to that part of your library, or you can scrub it just by swiping up on it. Now, if you want to play music from any one of these artists, just tap on the icon and hit play. You can also tap on this to bring forward the entire library that you have on this device, and you get a new mini player here. So this mini player will minimize and allow you to continue playing music while you're navigating through your music collection. You can also pause it and play it just from this little pop out here. Now when you're in this music player, you can also send this to an AirPlay device such as an Apple TV. We also have some other options here. So we can make this available offline, show it in the iTunes store or delete it. Now if you look along the edge here, you'll see these little three dots. If you tap on that, it gives you some options. So you can play this album next, add it to up next, so it'll cue it, or you can make it available offline or just delete it. So if you want to add it to up next, let's go ahead and add it to up next. Now if you go to the mini player and tap this icon down here, you'll see your entire up next library, which includes your currently playing song, your history, as well as what's up next. Now you can clear this out, or you can rearrange them if you want, or you can add additional songs. So you can add from either artists, albums, songs, etc. Now, if you want to get rid of a song, just swipe to delete it. Now, under playlists, we have some new options here. So, of course, we have our existing playlist. Now, if we go to new, you can actually create a new playlist and add your own photograph. So if you want to set your own photograph for the thumbnail for that playlist, you can. So you can either take a photograph or choose a photo from your library. So if you want to download something from the Internet and set it for your playlist album arm, that would be kind of nice. You can also add your own title, of course, and you can go ahead and add songs either by artists, albums, songs, or more. The iTunes radio app has also been cleaned up here. You can see we have our recently played channels up top. You can see your featured stations, and you can see the available stations under alternative, classical, country dance, electronic, hip hop, jazz, kids, family, Latin pop, R&B, reggae, rock. Now, if you're playing music within iTunes radio and you bring up the pop-up player here, you can favorite and add it to your iTunes wish list, or you can buy the song, or you can pop out here to show it in iTunes. So overall, this is a welcome improvement to the music playing app and definitely overdue here. So I'm pretty glad this has finally been taken care of. So that's going to do for me in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.